All Aboard. Bringing you board games. Tonight on All Aboard. In Hive Carbon, we will move our insects around the hive in an attempt to surround our opponent's queen. This time, we are joined by two new insects, the mosquito and the ladybird, who will join the fray to add some new strategic choices to the game. Hi guys, my name is Gly. And my name is Pat. You're very welcome to All Aboard. At this point, we would like to ask you to please turn on your Klingon subtitles, so if we make any rule errors, we can place them there, and if you spot any mistake, please leave a comment below with a timecode and we'll add them to the subtitles. So, in Hive Carbon, the objective is to completely surround your opponent's Queen B. There is no setup, so we'll start off by placing one tile each to create the hive, and then we each have to place our Queen Bee within our first four moves. Now, we'll explain the movements of the individual pieces as we place them on the board, but for now, the most important rules to remember are that you can never split the hive. It must always be one single entity, and when you place a tile, it can't be touching any of your opponent's tiles. Then, after you have placed your queen bee, you'll unlock the ability to move your pieces. So on your turn, you'll have a choice of moving or placing an insect. Yes, and the pieces must have the freedom to move. What I mean by that is that the pieces must be able to slide out from the spot they are coming from without pushing the other pieces, and they must also be able to slide into their new positions. There are exceptions to this, like the grasshopper That's who can right. jump, and the ladybird and the beetle who can climb on top of the hive. That's right. Yeah. Okay, so we've randomly chosen our first player, and yeah. that would be me. Okay. All right, so my first piece is a grasshopper, and a grasshopper can jump over other pieces. That's right, okay. And I am going to start with my ladybird. So the ladybird is a new piece, and this one just can climb up on top of the hive, move two spaces, and then drop down. And it must do exactly that. It can't finish its turn on top of the hive. So it must go up, move on to another tile, and then drop down in any direction. Okay. All right. So I'm putting my queen bee. Oh, that's very oh. early. Wow. Okay. And I will put my beetle out here. So the queen bee can move one space in any direction and cannot move on top of the hive. The only pieces that can move on top of the hive are the ladybird and the beetle. And the beetle moves the same way as the queen bee, except for it can move on top of the hive. So it can move one space up here, for example. And for purposes of placement, the color of the beetle on top of the hive becomes the color of that tile. So this, in this case, would now be a black tile. but. It's here, so it's still a white tile. Alright, and I'm going to put my ant, and okay. the ant can move around, so this is the most flexible movement. That's right, yeah, he can pretty much go anywhere on the outside yes. of the hive, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so time for my bee to join the fray. And she's out. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'll move my ant around your queen bee. Okay. And let me see. I think I should get an ant out. So there's another ant. Put my ladybird here. <laughs> Okay, and I think I need to get my other ant out, so I'll put him here. I've nearly surrounded that beetle. <laughs> oh. I'm going to move my queen bee here. All right. I'll keep you there, so. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put my ant here. All right, and in that case, my ant is going to come out 
of around here. My aunt is going to come here. Okay. And I'm going to bring out my mosquito. So a mosquito is a new piece and it just copies any of the pieces that are touching it. So if I, for example, place it here, which I can't do in a placement because it's touching an opponent's style, but just for the example, if the mosquito is here, then it can either be a beetle or an ant. So I am going to place it over here where it can only be an ant. Hmm. Okay, my grasshopper is going to jump here. Okay, made that situation a bit more dangerous, right? Mm hmm. Okay, in that case, my beetle is going to come. Oh, will it? No. You know what? It's. Oh, yes, you will. I'll move the beetle in here. I am going to place my beetle here. Okay. And I think I'll get another ant out here. Oh, no, let me see. I will get Instead, I'll get a grasshopper out to here. I am going to move my beetle here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, that is very dangerous there because you can finish it off in one move. So I am going to take my ladybird out from in here and move to... Three. Oh wow. <laughs> Lucky escape. That is why you put that there, right? Yep. I'm going to put uh -huh. mm -hmm. I'm going to put my grasshopper here. Okay. And this mosquito is going to take the part of this grasshopper and just leap in. No, actually, I will. Instead, I'm going to use. Oh, yeah. Um, no, yeah, I'm going to use this as a grasshopper and come in here. I'm going to use my ladybird to move one, two, down there. Oh! Now oh, it wow. is your turn. Oh, this is looking like it could be a draw, right? A grasshopper versus a grasshopper. <laughs> Who jump higher? He can't escape from there, right? He has to be able to move freely. So... That's interesting. <laughs> Battle of the grasshoppers. Yeah, it is looking like it could be a stalemate, isn't it? Now, what can I do about this? Jump. <laughs> <laughs> Let's share the victory. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see. Well, I still want to keep my options open. So I'm going to put my ant out here and i think we're both on a dead end here <laughs> so i'm just going to be generous and share the victory with oh, you oh yeah you're going to yeah. you're going to finish it i'm going to jump and come here oh okay uh, so we're, we're both, both surrounded so it's a draw <laughs> I placed my ladybird and beetle beside my queen at the start because I knew that if there was any trouble, they'd be able to climb out over the hive. In hive carbon, your opening is very important.
today I placed my queen bee out very early because I wanted to lock Pat's queen bee the moment he placed it. If you give your opponent's queen bee a chance to get out, it's harder to surround it, so it should be your first priority to lock it in. Each piece has its own ability and they're all very useful in particular situations. I like the ant the best because it's the most mobile, but the ability of the beetle and ladybird to climb on top of the hive can be very powerful at the right time. The mosquito is a very interesting piece. It captures everything it is beside. So when you assess the situation and see which of your pieces are most useful, you can place the mosquito beside it and you can get another of those pieces. I was thinking more offensively today and I wasn't paying enough attention to my own queen so I was a bit surprised to find that Gly had me surrounded too. I think a draw was a fair result. Towards the end, there was really no way out of a stalemate. I think our queen bees were destined to share the throne. So that's it for today. You have been watching Hive Carbon on All Aboard. Thanks a lot for watching and see you next time. Thanks for staying with us and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and also please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We'll see you again on our next video. Bye! Bye!